chance at life. Life is not what we think it is. Sometimes we go on ahead and put so much stock in whatever we conjure up in our mind to believe that it is life. I struggle so hard and complete it to do it. It seems like this it becomes all for you. We don't know life. We don't know life. We think we know life. We think life is doing whatever we feel like doing is right. We really believe that. When somebody tells us that it's not the way, or you're doing something wrong, or you should do it this way, we don't know life. Because we don't truly, without a shadow of a doubt, without Christ, we don't have life. We don't, y'all. We don't. We're just in the mode of existence. At that time, anything can take over. Because we don't have power to stay in life. Life is based upon the moves that you make throughout the week. Although we, we think that a better paycheck 
We get life will It's not. We are. The more you have, the more you feel. The more substance you attain, the richer you feel. Life is not what you think it is. What you have in your personal life has been allotted, allowed, not all, but the little crumbs that you do have, that you don't idol, that you don't worship, has been allowed by the Father for you to use. We make more effort in trying to have a somewhat of an establishment on this earth that we're losing now. And an establishment that we really need to focus on. Life is not what you think it is. I thank God for the ups and downs for the learning of where I'm wrong. Because God has shown me to be a better leader, a better father, a better husband, a better father, a better instructor. I'm not ashamed to say I'm about you. Because I never know what leads to father. I'm not scared to make mistakes. But I want to share this with you. Life is not what you think it is. Sometimes we press so hard to have a certain status in life. And when we don't have that, the walk that we're supposed to have in Christ never gets established. Life is in the favor of God. Life in the favor of God. Let me repeat this again. Life is in the favor of God. You're going to cry sometimes. You're going to say a lot of sorrow. Don't think because you, 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 you give life to Jesus, that's when you're supposed to come up here when you're going to say I'm sorry. That's not true. A lot of feedback. You're gonna say I'm sorry. You gonna cry sometimes. Yes. Oh. Some of y'all too pride, too prideful, too prideful. And you know you make the second mistake, but you're too prideful to say I'm sorry. Because you don't want to believe that you're at it again. <laughs> when pride comes, pride comes as a barrier to protect you from admitting your failures. You know, as I as I go on to know, the scripture says you'll know as you go on to know. How many know everything that pertains to life? Because I don't. So I look on to Jesus, who was in the fifth of my walk. Are you hearing this? God is creating greatness in you. Who are your mishaps? Mistakes. 
and making you greater. I thank God for them. Therewith I understand. Lord, I know you don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm going to rejoice. Because when the Lord shows me where I'm wrong, it's yet the next time where I'll be right. I thank God for his tutorship. Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. When you see where you're wrong, it hurts. But it's a good hurt. Because I'm being made great. Should I kill myself? I'm being built up. God is making me greater than what I was before I made it. He's made me light because I know I have to hold that weight in my heart no more. He's making me wiser because I have a full understanding. That part of me you don't like. He's making me with strength that I'll have the ability not to do that which is not in the pleasure of the Father no more. He's making me a curse breaker. I ain't got to stand no more in the dreadful life that the Lord is pulling me out from. Thank you, Lord. I feel strength in the midst of weakness. Because when I'm yet weak, that's when his strength is made perfect in me. Because I understand in the midst of my transformation, he's making me wise. Glory be to the king. Oh, should I worry about the trouble that I had to view in order to see where I messed up at as a stumbling block? No, I beg to differ. But that's too worthy for me. Because yes, you, when I'm being shown where I'm wrong, God is perfecting my righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, as God's making me a good man, I find the, that that's God's opportunity. Make me greater than what I was before the token. What wisdom the facts to take something that was nothing and make them out of something. To know that you were nothing at one point, God is making that nothing, which is something, but it is nothing. He's making it into something. Failure is not an option when God's hand is over your life. Yes, Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for a night. Yes, but joy always comes when Jesus rises in you. You know he rises in you when he tells you you're wrong. Get it right. Oh, my God. I'm getting the transition. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Keep doing it for me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In every area of my life, show me where I'm wrong. Thank you, Jesus. Give me the strength 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. To be equipped to get it right. Thank you, Jesus. I need to know how to please you here. That you may give me the wisdom and the power to please you here. That I may know him. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the power of his resurrection. When I'm being resurrected from fallibilities to purity. Who is like unto our God? Who has the wisdom? And the knowledge of how to create. Substance out of nothing. You ought to start glory. You ought to start thankful for the mistake. I made a mistake, but I understand even more what to do. To no, he's a mighty God. Yes, hallelujah. He's a mighty God. There ain't nobody like Jesus. There ain't nobody like him. Oh, I thank God for the mistakes. Thank God for the learning. If you want to call it a mistake. I thank God for the learning. Because if I don't learn, I'll be stuck on to God is making me wiser. Thank you, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if you feel what I'm trying to tell you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that Jesus didn't go. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, I'm so great. Hallelujah. I'm so Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Times I'm going in the town for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because it'll come into my mind, oh, you done made a mistake again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Why should I give up? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Never gave up on me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He never gave up on me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Gonna give you. I'm not even. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus stayed in his mind. You heard that little small voice say, keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep going. Keep going. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Is there any? That's grateful that Jesus didn't give up on you. Okay, what you might think is that wrong that you got Jesus up on you. Jesus is on his way to make it work out. Even when you're not worthy of it. Who is like unto our God? Who can compare to his greatness? Wait. He's a God. I'm going to make it. 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 I'm going
yourself. Jesus never threw in the towel on you. I don't care how bad you feel. How much you feel like pulling up. He said, I'll speak to you. I leave my building, not leaving my sight. It is an honorable God. Truly, is a great father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, 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 I'm so grateful. I'm so I'm so Oh, I'm so grateful. I want to be just like him. I want to be far like him. I want to be understanding like him. I want to love. I want to love like him. He's a good God. There's no one like him. There's no God like him. Oh God, oh God, yes, 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 There's nobody that can tell you to keep moving. His love drives him to come into our spirit and encourage. He knows how to teach. Even in time. Our God is awesome. Our God is awesome. I want to be just like Jesus. I want to be like him. I want to love like him. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. I want the same heart he has. Oh, I seek to be like him. I'm looking to take his glory. I want to be like him. Dedicated. Dedicated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't mind. I don't mind. I want to give me up. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give me up all unto thee, Lord. Everything that I have, who I am, I digress. Thank you. I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear. I can A desire. Desire to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. To be just. I want to be just. Thank you, Lord. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be just like him. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to think like him. I don't want me to show at all. I want me to dance. Hallelujah. Bless your wonderful name, Lord. Hallelujah. He just, he just tears stuff up. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't want to be in the way. 
I don't want to be in the way. What wants to do inside me? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to make a good husband. Make me a good dad. Make me a good make, make me a, a good provider. Make, make me a ending. I want to be a good papa. A great leader. A great example. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be just like him in every shape, form, or fashion. I thank God for the troubles and trials. No mess, no message. Hallelujah. I know he's making me unto his pleasure. He's making me. He's making me. And to God, he's making us. He's making us. He's making us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Unto his pleasure.
know, if uh, God didn't consider us worthy to be transformed. The shocking thing about it is that he would never put a, a, a trouble or a test or a trial there. If he didn't consider us worthy to transform, he wouldn't even look upon us with care to bring out. So we look at our troubles as something bad. Troubles have to come. God doesn't invite troubles. He's saying invite troubles. Because no trouble, no transformation. No transformation. I thank God for the mistake. When you're not in flesh, you understand quick what you need to change. Yeah. Are you hearing this? When you're not in flesh, the truth about you, you're hurry. But if you're it brings excuses. When you're not in flesh and you hear about the motion that you did or have allowed, the disappointment that hits your heart that you did it against the Father enters into the core of your soul and says, I violated my lover. In the midst of you hearing about you, you have the, I can't believe I did that. After the, I can't believe I did that, there's a, a hurry up in your heart. Say, I got to get it right. Yes, what well, the amazing part about all of that, right there, that particular moment, is when Jesus pops up in your spirit and tells you, go and get it right. Amen. Immediately, because you're not in flesh. You run and get it right, and then you tell the Lord, "I'm sorry." We go on to Jesus. See, God has to show us what we've relied on. To think that is you. See, we'll take an eye for an eye. And tooth for a tooth. You did me dirty. I'm going to do you dirty. It's only right. But what we call righteousness is not God's righteousness. You know, he's got to have a long suffering in order to step back. Watch and act within your heart. And then discipline you after the act is committed. And the love and the faith that he has for you. He's willing. I want you to hear this. He's willing to step back. And watch you perform what's in your heart so that you can see his pleasure and what's not. His love. See, you don't know what's in your heart, but God does. That's the reason he sent children of Israel into the wilderness. That's the reason he sends you, his children, into the wilderness. So that he can prove what's in your heart. I'm so glad. And in the midst of him step, stepping back, he don't allow my foolishness to overtake me. I'm being blown away on how great God
God's wisdom really is. Could you imagine if he was like how he was back then? The moment you do something wrong, you dead. Are you hearing this? But Jesus. I, I want you, I want you, and, and I really didn't understand. You know, the Lord was about to tell you, man. The Lord is awesome. Doing what you believe is what we're going to talk about. Doing what you believe. I'm not talking about what you talk. It's right. You know, I was upstairs in my office. And um, the Lord was like, doing what you believe. What? He says, your action shows up. Your action shows what you believe in your heart. Your action shows what you believe in your heart. And because it's in your heart, without the about it. This is what he was saying. He said, because it's in your heart, you do it without thinking about it. I can't believe that was in me. Yeah. Yes. That was. That's still. And you know what the crazy part about it? He said, what's in your heart has to be done all the way. He said, without reservation. <coughs> Excuse me. So in other words, what's really in your heart is going to be done outwardly without you trying to hold it back. You see, God knows what to fabricate to get you to bring out what's in your heart. That show is the truth. I'm telling God is blessing me right now. Show up. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He knows what to bring out to cause you to see you. See, you can't allow the word of God to bring you down. The word is to bring you up out. Are you hearing me? See, the enemy uses the word to condemn, to kill, to bring low, to smother. Did he not try to do it on Jesus, if thou be? Oh, well, I thought you was a child of God. Why are you acting like that? Why are you being like that? Why are you say that? Why are you looking at them like that? Why are you judging them like that? You were a child of God, you wouldn't understand what they were saying. Amen. Thank you, Father. <coughs> Let me repeat it again. You do what you believe in your heart is right. In a lot of areas of your life, you don't know everything that you're going to handle, what to do with it. You might, you might think you know what to do with it. And even if it comes back around the second time around, it just might come back to show you how to do it in another format.
you know, <laughs> I hear him say, just take an ups again in your face. It means you need to pay more attention. The reason why you for the first time arrived is because you weren't really paying attention. Pay attention. Learn more than what you are. Yeah. Learn the sense of God. And I love it. I love it. God is making me the survey around. Yes, he is. Obviously, for a reason. And I give him glory. Two Proverbs. Four. We're going to talk about some long stuff. You had your hand. Thank you. You had your hand. How? That's a great question. How do we listen with our heart? Hear the truth about you. Hear me. Hear the truth about you. And no words reenact how you are inside of your mind. Those words spoke, you acted, and how you talked. Whatever those words describing, it'll way back into your spirit. And when you have the acknowledgement of what you did or said or how you responded after the explanation or during the explanation, when sorrow hits your heart, that's when you can say, I've heard from out of my heart. Because see, the truth forces you to a change. When you're not really listening, still be. Are you here? When you're not really listening, you'll still be the same. You'll still have the same. You're not really listen. The reason why you listen is because you you that part. And you don't. Why do so long for me just to change this whole part of me? Because you were so stubborn to hear the word of God against. Oh, I, I want to tell you something. God is cleaning up little bits and areas of my life. 